When chilly weather hits here in France, there is one dish that really seems to hit the spot. French onion soup. Soup à l'oignon, as it's known here, is a tourist favorite, especially at this time of year. And back with us on the show to tell us a bit more about it is Joanne Carter from True Foodies. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Jeannie. Nice to be back on the show. So I'm the co-founder of True Foodies, which is a culinary hub for food and wine lovers and chefs and restaurants from all over the world. And as part of the platform, we have um, video cooking courses on French cuisine. So you're going to show us how to make French onion soup in just a minute. But first, let's talk a bit more about its history. When did it first start? Yeah, so um, onion soup actually goes back over 8,000 years, like all the way to ancient Roman times. And um, that's just essentially because onions are cheap, they're really easy to cultivate, and they taste delicious. But um, in more modern times, uh, the 18th century, there's at least two legends about the origin of French onion soup. Great. OK, origin stories are always fascinating. So what's the first one? So the first one says that King Louis XV of France was out hunting for deer with his court. And when they got back to the lodge that they were staying at, the only thing in the cupboards were butters, onion, and uh, butter, onions, and champagne. OK, love love these royal problems already. Champagne's all they have. <laughs> right. So I mean, the story goes, they threw all that together and cooked it up. And that was the first French onion soup. OK, so that's the first one. What's the second story? So the second story is also connected to Louis XV, but it starts with the Duke of Lorraine, who was actually the former King Stanislas of Poland. And um, the story goes that he was traveling to Versailles to visit his daughter, Queen Marie, who was married to Louis XV. And he stopped on the way at an inn called La Palme d'Or in the Champagne region. And the chef there, his name's Nicolas Appert, made him a delicious soup. Which I'm guessing he loved. And <laughs> Yes, he loved it so much that um, the story goes he, he uh, came down from his bed chambers in his bathroom to the kitchens and he insisted that the chef cook it for him from start to finish so that he could take the recipe with him to Versailles. And uh, that chef, Nicolas Appert, actually named the soup after him in his cookbook in 1831. He called it onion soup a la Stanislas. Great. <laughs> All right. So whichever myth is closer to the truth, uh, it does seem that this was a very important soup in French history, particularly for Louis XV. Um, <laughs> tell us how to make it. Sure. So, of course, you start by chopping onions. So you take you chop up about 150 grams of onions. That's like one or two medium onions. And then um, you put butter in a saucepan. We don't seem to have our video. but We I should have our recipe in just a minute coming up. Go ahead. OK. So you melt 15 grams of butter in a saucepan on medium heat. And then you put in, oh, here we go. Then you put in your uh, chopped onions. And you turn the heat up to high. And you cook those for a little bit. Then you turn the heat back down to medium. You cook the onions until they're nice and soft. And then you put the heat on low. And you keep cooking those onions until they're caramelized and golden brown in color. And we have a little chef's tip here from our chefs, which is to make sure all the water is really well evaporated. And that makes the onion compote like nice and jammy. Mm, that's Sounds good. OK, then what? Um, so then after that, we add in uh, two tablespoons of port and two tablespoons of Madeira coming up here in a minute. No champagne in this version, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. And then as you'll see in a second, we're going to add in half a liter of pot au feu um, stock, which is we talked about a couple of times before on the show, uh -huh. and then some black paper, pepper. And then uh, you spoon the soup into individual bowls. Um, and here in France, you usually see, see those super cute onion soup terrines. But you can actually use any kind of oven-proof bowl, which is kind of what we're doing here. And then, um, oh, I, sk uh, I skipped a little step there. You reduce the heat, and you simmer that for 15 to 20 minutes before you put it in the bowls, like we're seeing now. And then after that, you put slices of baguette on top of the um, soup. and. Um, and then the final step is to add cheese on top. And uh, you can use Emmental cheese or Conte cheese. Some recipes say you should use Gruyere cheese, but the French get a little <laughs> offended by that. Stick to French cheese. <laughs> just, just, before, just before that bit, we were talking before about the onions being caramelized. And that's a term that we do hear a lot in cooking. Just what is that exactly? Yeah, so caramelizing refers to um, browning sugar, actually. And onions are naturally sweet and do have a lot of sugar in them. Um, so when they, they're browned, the sugar develops this really nice, nutty flavor, which is super delicious. So right, as you were yeah. saying, then you throw the cheese on, you yeah. bake the whole thing. And what's interesting about French onion soup is you often see it as a starter in French menus. You don't see people eating it that much, though, in France at dinner time. There's a very special time to eat French onion soup. When is that? <laughs> well, um, actually, there's another story here, which is that, um, as we mentioned, the court of Louis XV loved French onion soup. And um, they discovered that it was really useful in covering up the smell when somebody had been drinking too much wine. <laughs> <laughs> so they actually um, nicknamed it the soup of the drunkard. And um, ever since then, it sort of developed in France to be well known as a hangover cure. I, I also know a lot of times people will have it after a late night, after the opera 
or at a wedding, for example. Yeah, that's right. They serve it at French weddings quite often at like 2 a.m., so long after the cake has been served. Um, and it's supposed to be a preventative measure for hangovers. And um, you can get the, the full recipe on the website where we are in the midst of um, an investment campaign. So if anybody is interested in becoming a part of the True Foodies family, you can find out more. Joanne, thank you so much for telling us about how to make French onion soup, which I can attest is delicious. Mm -hmm. Never made it myself, but now I'm going to try. Thank you for coming on the show. Don't forget, if you want to get a closer look at that recipe, do check out the website. It's truefoodies.com.